In the relentless unfolding of time, amidst the din of an ever-changing world, there stands a philosophical stronghold that has endured the ages. Stoicism, a school of Hellenistic philosophy, offers not just meditations on life, but also actionable wisdom. As we grapple with the complexities of the modern era, the Stoic teachings beckon us to a sanctuary of inner strength and unwavering conviction. Let us embark on a profound exploration of the seven practices that form the very heart of Stoicism. Practice 1. Embrace Amor Fati, the love of one's fate. The concept of Amor Fati is not about passive acceptance, but about a voracious love for life in all its forms. To the Stoic practitioner, everything is an opportunity. The universe is a canvas for our character development. When we encounter setbacks, we must see them as integral to the grand design. Imagine a mosaic where each seemingly disparate piece contributes to an overarching masterpiece. So too must we view our individual experiences as essential components of our life's mosaic. This practice requires reflection on our past experiences, identifying instances where a perceived setback laid the groundwork for a later triumph. It's in this reflection that we begin to unravel the intricate tapestry of cause and effect, learning to trust in the process rather than fixate on immediate outcomes. By doing so, we cultivate a resilience that is both profound and deeply rooted in the cosmic order. Practice 2. Focus on the controllable. The dichotomy of control. Epictetus famously said, some things are in our control and others not. It sounds simple, yet within this dichotomy lies the key to stoic serenity. To focus on the controllable is to engage fully with the present moment, to exert influence where we can and release ourselves from the tyranny of external circumstances. This isn't a call to insensitivity or indifference, but to a strategic allocation of our emotional and mental resources Incorporating this practice into our daily lives calls for a vigilant awareness of our internal dialogue. Each moment provides a crossroads. Do we expend our energy fretting over the unchangeable, or do we channel it into proactive and deliberate action? By training our minds to discern this difference, we not only conserve our energy, but optimize it becoming powerhouses of productivity and pillars of tranquility amidst life's chaos. Practice 3. Practice Objective Judgment Seeing Through the Veil of Judgment Marcus Aurelius, in his personal writings, implored us to see the simple reality of things, free from the added layers of personal narrative. Objective judgment is the lens through which we strip away excess revealing the bare truth. This is a call to view life without the distortion of our prejudices and to refrain from dramatizing our experiences. To apply this in our daily endeavors, we must cultivate a disciplined mindfulness, catching ourselves when we begin to weave tales of woe or triumph around the neutral events of life. Each situation presents itself as a neutral canvas. It is our perception that paints it with the hues of good or bad. By practicing objective judgment, we guard ourselves against the emotional turbulence that can arise from misinterpretation, and we maintain our conviction through the clarity of sight. Practice 4. Cultivate self-discipline, the foundation of virtue. The Stoics did not shy away from pleasure, nor did they condemn it. However, they recognized the value of self-discipline as a means to freedom. By mastering our impulses, we gain control over our lives. Self-discipline is practiced through small, daily acts of resistance against the easy and the comfortable, training ourselves to act according to reason rather than desire. This practice is not about self-denial, but about self-mastery. It's about making choices that align with our long-term goals and values rather than succumbing to the fleeting whims of the moment. Whether it's choosing to rise early, 
engage in regular physical exercise, or abstain from mindless indulgence, each act of discipline fortifies our character and deepens our conviction. Practice 5. Reflect and Prepare – The Art of Premeditation The Stoic practice of premeditatio malorum, or the premeditation of evils, is a mental rehearsal for adversity. By contemplating potential challenges and visualizing our responses, we steel ourselves against the shocks and surprises of life. This is not an exercise in pessimism, but one of strategic anticipation. To reflect and prepare, we must regularly set aside time for contemplation. We imagine various scenarios, not just to brace ourselves against future hardships, but to undermine the fear and anxiety they might otherwise evoke. This practice breeds a proactive mindset, enabling us to remain steadfast in our convictions regardless of the circumstances that may arise. Practice 6. Perform Acts of Kindness – The Stoic Compassion While Stoicism calls for emotional equanimity, it also advocates for a deep sense of compassion and communal responsibility the Stoics viewed kindness as a duty and an expression of the best aspects of human nature. Seneca, for instance, wrote extensively on the importance of beneficence and the joy that arises from generous action. By extending kindness to others, we exercise our social virtues and reinforce our conviction in the shared human endeavor. Incorporating kindness into our lives is not merely about grand gestures, it is found in the day-to-day -day interactions and the small acts that accumulate into a life well lived. Holding the door for a stranger, offering a word of encouragement, volunteering our time, or simply listening with genuine attention, these are the threads that weave the social fabric tighter and reflect the stoic commitment to the betterment of society. As we practice kindness, we become more resilient in our convictions for they are affirmed not just in thought, but in action. Practice 7. Embrace Continuous Growth – The Unfinished Journey The Stoic path is one of constant evolution. Unlike static dogma, Stoicism invites an ongoing dialogue with our environment and our inner selves. The Stoics recognize that wisdom is not a destination, but a journey marked by continual learning and self-examination. To embrace this practice, we must commit to being lifelong learners, ever willing to challenge our assumptions and expand our understanding. We read widely, engage with opposing viewpoints, and reflect on our experiences. We remain humble students of life, knowing that each day brings its own lessons, and each challenge offers insight. Continuous growth ensures that our conviction does not become brittle with dogmatism, but remains dynamic and responsive. As we evolve, so too does our capacity to navigate life's complexities with grace and determination. Conclusion Living with conviction To live with stoic conviction is to engage with these practices not just theoretically, but practically, integrating them into the very sinews of our existence. It requires diligence, patience, and a commitment to unceasing improvement. We must be willing to examine our lives with brutal honesty and to make the changes that reflection reveals to be necessary. As we journey through the landscape of Stoicism, we find that its principles are not cold edicts carved in stone, but living waters that nourish and sustain us. The seven practices outlined here serve as guiding stars in the vastness of the human experience, providing clarity, purpose, and resilience. Stoicism, then, is more than a philosophy. It is a way of life. It is a daily practice, a moment-by-moment -moment choice, and a lifelong journey. It is the heart that beats with the rhythm of wisdom, the hands that shape the clay of character, and the gaze that sees beyond the horizon of adversity. Let us walk this path with courage, with compassion, and with the unwavering conviction that comes from knowing we are aligned with the best of what it means to be human.
Let us take these practices and weave them into the fabric of our daily lives, so that we may not only weather the storms of fortune, but sail forth with purpose and serenity. In the immortal words of Marcus Aurelius, waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one, with stoicism etched into our hearts. Let us rise to meet this challenge, today and every day that follows. And that, my incredible viewers, is the essence of Stoicism 7 practices that can truly transform the way we live, think, and navigate the complexities of our existence. I hope you found this exploration as enriching and enlightening as I have. Now, if you're feeling that spark, that little flame of inspiration flickering in your heart, let's fan it into a blazing fire. How, you ask? Well, by joining our wonderful community here at Bold Quest, just hit that subscribe button like it's the door to a new world, which, in a way, it is. By subscribing, you're not just getting notified of new content. You're becoming part of a family that grows wiser together, that shares in the quest for a life of depth and meaning. And trust me, it's a journey that's so much better with company. Leave a comment with your thoughts. And share this video with someone who could use a little stoic wisdom in their day. We're all on this journey together. And every new subscriber is a friend we haven't met yet. Thanks for watching.